I'm not into your fight. That's between y'all. You keep grouping us up like it's us against you. The aftermath of Kendall and Kylie's fight on Keeping Up with the Kardashians continues. I don't know, it was like really, I mean, I wasn't even that emotional. At least I didn't think I was. Kendall, you've been a rude person for years. I'm about to tell you the truth about how you are. You don't apologize for nothing. You get into one thing, now you got something to run and harp on, then you tripping. Yeah, Corey Gamble is basically choosing sides and giving tough love to Kendall. I don't trip though. Kiss my ass. I don't need nobody kissing my ass. What the hell are you talking about? Everything was wrong. I mean, believe it however you want to. I, I ain't true. Safe to say, Kendall is not happy. I'm already pretty frustrated with the whole situation and hurt and offended. Corey, he's just not right in this situation, and I'd rather him just admit it, say sorry, and man up. <laughs> this family, we are <laughs> feel like it's a revolving door. Of course, the argument made other family members not want to choose sides. Chloe, Kim, and Courtney have tried to stay out of it. And mom Chris wants no part of it either. I mean, I don't like being in the middle. I wasn't even a part of it, and I feel stuck. I'm sorry, babe. It's just a really tough thing, but, and I but, hate no. it. The rest of the season has so many crazy things going on. By episode's end, both Kylie and Kendall seem to want to forgive and forget. There's been multiple times in the past couple days that I've um, thought about calling her and just being the bigger person. I love my sister. I think that we'll figure it out just like we always do. Um, yeah. It was just an unfortunate situation. Just tune in because you never know what's going to happen.